Welcome back to Figure Collecting for Dummy. Today I'm doing an unboxing for a kit by AC Play Lightning Warrior. Essentially, it's a kit for Lady 4 Jane Foster. Recalling the comics, uh, 4 gave up the title of God of Thunder for a while, and then a mysterious woman picked up the hammer and do the uh, God of Thunder. Later on, we find out that there was uh, Jane Foster. For this set, I suspect that they get the inspiration from the 1-6 scale uh, statue from Sideshow Collectibles. I almost bought that one myself. It's a very nice figure. As this is a kit, some assembly required. This shows you how to put on the clothing, the article, accessories, etc. Take a look. It also comes with a basic head sculpt, a blonde head sculpt. You can't tell who it is, and it doesn't really matter, because you have the helmet on most of the time. For this set, what you see is what you get. They also have some nice metal accessories. As this does not come with a body, I use a TB Leak S10 body for it. After some struggling, I managed to put on her uh, trousers and shirt. The trousers are synthetic, but they have some nice detail, scale-like features on the pants, and also the uh, nice stretchable nylons for the shirt. Now on to the accessories. First you have a metal helmet. Quite hefty. The details are quite nice, the sculpting the finishing is nice, the colors is nice. It mirrors the statue from Sideshow Collectible. Very nice going. Then you have a collar. Painted like metal, but it's plastic. You can see all the details, all the sculpts and all the paint. Then we have the chest piece, another metal piece. Quite hefty. You have straps on the side which you can lead it on, attach it, and there's a hole you can attach the collar. Very nice details. Okay, these buttons were used to attach the cape to the chest piece. You have a wrist guard. Very nice detail, painted to be light metal, but it's plastic. Then we have another one, a sleeve. And actually with a metal uh, arm piece this time. Very nice Celtic print. For the boot, we have some nice metal wings, metal accessories. We have the wrap of the leg, just slide it in and there you go, it's plastic. Then you have the lower half of the body. They also have wires in the capes, so that way you can style it wherever you like. Nice going. Let's take another look at the chest piece. Actually, it's a snap on. See right there? You can snap on, snap off, and then you attach your ribbon it off. Quite easy.
A lot of times we have discussions between collectors regarding rooted hair or sculpted hair. So if you don't like sculpted hair, you can get a customizer to root it. That's what I did. I get my Dark World 4 to a customizer and he gave me this. How do you like it? Actually, he just finished a commission for Endgame 4 as well. Wish I know that in advance. I would have got to go for this. Besides 4, he has many other commission. Different uh, characters, Luke, Leah, Doctor Strange, long hair, short hair, guys, girls. He's very skillful. But the most amazing is that he did a rocket raccoon flock. The head, the arms, the tail. Just amazing. So I think it's up to you. If you want to figure it to looks nice, you might invest to get it rooted. Because it makes a world of difference. Also, the manufacturer will never be able to give you this type of quality. Okay? If you're interested, try contact him on Facebook, Jovo Tan. But be warned, his schedule is quite full, so it might take a while. Now on to a few gripes. For example, uh, neither the set nor the figure come with a grabbing hand, so I have to use stickers to glue the hammer. Also, in the comics, the eyes are white, but the helmet is see-through, so the feel just not the same. Plus, it's a kit. During assembly, a lot of the pieces will fall off, so prepare to use a lot of glue on that. Iron that is fine. So in closing, I would fully support this figure because I almost bought the expensive statue. Furthermore, there are things I like about this. First off, the price value is excellent. And second, there are a lot of details on the metal accessories, so the helmet, the chest piece, the axe, all lovely. However, some minor gripes that I have is that uh, as this is a kit, you have to put it together yourselves, so you might take some time and effort. And also, I wish they come with the hammer, because Thor has a hammer. So what do you guys think? That's it for today. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye.